Just out looking at some wheat this morning. We're gonna try to get some top dressing done this week. Ground's still pretty soft. Terrace channels are definitely soft. Hoping maybe Wednesday, Thursday we can get moving and get another semi-load of fertilizer in. And that'll give us enough to get about a, with the two loads, a little shot over most of it. And I'll flip you around here. Wait, doesn't look terrible. We're plenty early on the fertilizer, I think, but the way our windows have been, we're kind of a little bit nervous about getting some on. I think we've got 40 pounds on now. Across the road was beans. Stayed extremely clean, almost too clean. There's nothing over there growing for cover. We're going to get to thinking about putting fertilizer on corn ground here shortly too. So, yep. Stress level of trying to get things done. Ah, right. Later. We're back on this project today. Brent's DD15. Shaft was broke here. I don't know where I showed you last. So we did finally get a new shaft in. Pull the rocker arms off. Put them on the new shaft. Then we have to tap and put time certs in the aluminum that caused the problem in the first place. So anyway, I'll bring you back. Well, we're just getting the rocker arms put back on the new shaft. Yeah, you just gotta take your time. Get it straight, yep. I could hold the phone, hold the shaft up at the same time. Broken shaft up there, we took everything off of it, laid it out in order. Wrench just putting them back on this shaft. All right, what we got going is we're drilling these out. This is what's stripped. That's a 10 millimeter. It's bigger than that at the top, but 10 millimeter thread down in there. And they use um, Helicoil's factory. Anyway, it pulled one. I'm sorry. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. The thread's pulled on those three. So anyway, I brought a, bought a kit for a time cert and we're not going to use these these are short ones and this is my left-handed drill i had to drill out the old helicoils but anyway they send a cert, uh, uh install installation tool i'll get it out here in a minute which is there then they send us a tap and i'll get a kin or a time cert here out of my pocket that we're going to use they're an inch long Tim 10 on the inside I think like 14 on the outside so we've got one drilled and tapped trying to keep the shavings out the best we can Brent went and made a adapter for his vacuum to get down in the hole We washed it out with a little compressed air and carb cleaner. He thought there was still a little bit in there, so he made a deal to go on his vacuum. Make sure we get the holes good and clean. Well, looks pretty good to me. I don't see any shaving. All right, we're going to see what we can get done here. All right, brought you back. Um, we found this front one up under the light. It's bad, too. Probably should do them all, but I don't know. So anyway, we got this one uh, tapped. And we got the time cert put in and expanded. And we run a bolt down through the broken piece of shaft. It looks like everything's going to be all right. Tines down. We've got new bolts for our torque to yield. Anyway, I helped Brent get this one in. We have a little clearance issues here. 
You don't know when it hits, it'll bottom. We took uh, left hand and run in this hole. That gets most of the old helicoil out. And then this air drill here is the tap size for our time insert. You're gonna have to check it on that square, bro. I thought I was. Brent's being a little too careful here, I think. What well, back now? I think that might be my problem. Oop, careful, careful. Alright, we gotta get the vacuum going here. We don't want shavings around. Bring it back. Alright, Brent drilled that one. I guess you saw him drill it. He run a tap in it, and he put the time cert in with this uh, installation tool. Kind of a weird deal. I have probably told you five times now, but you put the time cert on the end of that installation tool. Then you run it down in there, and then it'll get hard. And that's when the time cert quits turning, but the uh, installation tool has to go right on through the time cert. It looks similar to a tap, but when it goes through the end of the time cert, then that uh, installation tool swells the end of the time cert. So what it does is one inch got a lip, and this end is a little smaller. Should we do this one? So anyway, when that gets down in there then that uh, insulation tool goes on through and it swells these bottom three threads into the aluminum that you're working with so there's that what do you think what's that should we uh do this one uh let's go ahead and do the them two that we know are bad and then These we'll come two. back to that one. we'll probably end up doing them all but trying not to get in a hurry and trying to do them right we kind of only want to be in here one time. Left handed drill. So we're running the left handed drill through just to clean up the helicoil that's already there. And I don't know, Brent's video on too, so I don't know how much I've told, retold. That bit's small enough it goes inside the insert. No oil, I don't think the Loctite's gonna work, but we try. Well, we shouldn't need Loctite. Time for it should, should uh, seat itself. We just put a little red Loctite on it just because we're farmers, not mechanics. That's the drill for the, don't push it, Brent, you want it to turn. Too fast, you'll throw chips out of there. Hard one is angle. Hard one. Hold it on this side. We still got here coiling part of them. Don't want to hold. Be very careful getting them out of there. So we got the shavings out as best we could on the drill, and then we're cleaning all this up. Blowing carb cleaner and compressed air in the hole. And we will tap it. Should have probably went ahead and did that next one back, Brent, with your left when you had it in there. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I'm probably boring you to death. Yeah, you know, back to my machine deal. I'm not necessarily bragging. I'm just telling you we kind of know a little bit about machine work. It's hard to think that way. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
Bak nana. Uh, it? it all broke and went off of a uh, one of them EGR stuff. Hose, hose clamp huh. lying up there. Huh. Find something every time. Alright, uh, he's gonna finish tapping that one. And we will put a time shirt in it and carry on. You there? Thank you there. Let's see. Two. We'll count them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. About the same we've been running the others down. Alright. Shaft is rolled up to line the holes up, but we also got springs that go under here. Under the jig. Yeah, so we got to get the springs under there. There's seven of them. Once we get the springs under there, then we have to, uh, we'll have to set the jakes and the valves and all that because we got to back them all out. So when we start the bolts down in the top of the exhaust shaft, it doesn't try to pull the thread. So we're going to back all the valves off on the exhaust side. So they're free to play, suck the shaft down, torque it to spec, and then we'll run the valves down and get the, the valve clearance set and roll the engine over. And Brenner, you got that. That new nut for that one valve. Yeah, huh? it's okay. up there. Uh, so what was I getting down to get? Oh, the spring. Yeah. So anyway, as Brent was saying, we've got to put springs in the jakes. Hope we can get them in there now. We've got to pull that back out. It's kind of a bear to get that down in there. we got the front six holes uh, time inserted. We did not do the back one. Couldn't get in there with the drill. My 90 degree drill, something's wrong with it. Brent thought the thread was fine on that one. So we'll snug it up and hopefully it's good. If not, we'll, uh, we'll be getting back in here. But anyway, we'll see. We'll get them torqued and go from there. Yeah, look, it should be there. We've got the rocker shaft in and got the bolts tightened. They are 36 to 40 foot pounds, these here. And then 90 degrees torque to yield. 23 is what we're going with. 23, right. But it's 24, but we, yeah. we cheated a bit. So anyway, um, okay. that back one back there, that's the only one Brent did not put a time cert in. Two. He couldn't get to it with a drill. I don't know. We clicked at 36 on our torque wrench, and then he went, you're supposed to go 90. He went... Yeah, about 45. Felt like it might be getting a little bit spongy. So we quit there. I don't know. We're a little concerned about it. We did Loctite it before we put it in. All the rest of them are beautiful. So anyway, we're setting overhead now. We'll get them set. And like see, see how things go here. I feel like a dentist here, but you're dirt poor farmer. What about it? You're a dirt floor farmer, and I'm a dirt floor farmer. Working in a dirt floor. Yeah. All right, we're going to get these set. And Brent will have to button up the new valve cover gasket and the stuff he took off. We're getting closer. I don't know, that back was both got us a little pissed, but uh, out of our own fault, don't. I guess. Huh? She'll run until she don't. Yeah, it's tight. We just felt like the it was getting just a hair spongy when we quit, where the rest of them weren't. So, all right, I better get up here and help him. All right, Brent's barring the engine over. We got one more Jake set, number four. So let's get up there. We're setting them. In. Firing order, of course. So when four comes up, when the intake side of four is top dead center on the cam, that's when you set your Jake brake. I had my dial indicator on them. I don't think it's that critical. 
exhaust is coming up on four. We want the intake at top dead center. Building a little compression, it's hard to get it rolled over. You can tell when I'm pushing on the fan, I reckon. Huh? Yeah. A little more, Brent. We're not hitting yet. Sorry about the movement. I'm trying to roll the fan with Brent at the same time. Seems like it takes forever to get that damn thing around there. Okay, we're moving, Brent. Easy. Yep. Okay, that's top dead center. Deals right over that hammer. Got our exhaust brake gauge here. I don't know if that thing will stay or no. See if I can make the phone stay. Nope. Hmm. Well, it's a little tough to do both. This is your Jake brake. And feeler gauge. It's specifically made for the Jake. I'll try to hold the camera there. Get it right where you like it. Maybe jam that. I'm going to have a little trouble doing it holding the camera. Let me check it. Oh, that's pretty. Alright, that's the last one. Alright, well he's going to put the valve cover on. Put the intake and stuff back on it, and I think it'll be ready to fire. Yeah, your light's in the way there, Brent. He got the valve cover set up there, new gasket. Had to figure out where all of his studs went versus his open holes. So he'll get that bolted on. Old dog's about to die. So yeah, you get that bolted on and he's got an air cleaner, a few odds and ends, brackets and stuff. Don't forget that blow by tube. I don't know when that needed to go on, bro. That we took off. Yeah. All right, well, it's after five o'clock. I'm probably gonna give it a break and let him finish this up. Later. Brent's got it all back together. I'm gonna roll it a few times and not let it start is the plan. Has not been started since we tore it apart. Like I said, we're just going to roll it over and make sure everything clears.
Sounds all right.